In this liquid After Effects tutorial, we're going to create some text. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So the other day we posted a liquid a logo reveal and I just want to continue that sort of series on creating some liquid text. So let's go ahead and get started. We already have a composition, uh, 1920 by 1080. We already have our text in here and I already have a background in here, which we won't really need. Um, the text I'm using is street script, but pretty much any font will do. I'm just using street script because I think it looks nice. So let's go ahead and just get started with this. So the first thing we want to do is so once we have our text layer in here, we want to make sure the text layer is selected and we want to right click the layer and we want to click on create shapes from text. And then we'll get this outline shape layer right over here. And if we open up the contents, we'll see that each of these letters has its own uh, path in here. So that's really awesome. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go and duplicate this liquid layer. And then we're going to go back to our original layer here. So we'll select all the letters in here except for the letter L or whatever your first letter will be. doesn't matter what word you're using. Just make sure you select every letter except for one letter here. You, preferably the first letter and delete everything else and we can rename this layer to uh, letter L or whatever letter you're using there and then we'll go into our, uh, our duplicated comp here and we'll duplicate it once more and we'll go ahead and go to this middle comp here or this middle layer here and delete everything except for the second letter in our word which in my case is the letter I and then we will rename this layer to letter I and as you see, if we go through this, we want to go through each of these layers and isolate each uh, you know, letter all by itself in its own shape layer. So um, I'll be right back once this is all done. So now all the letters are into their own shape layer here and we can turn these on and off and you see we isolated the letters. And if we go to our first letter here, which is letter L in my case, what I'm going to do is make sure the layer is selected and go up to edit, duplicate. And I'm going to make sure the layer is selected and I'm going to go up to layer, pre-compose. And we can call this one just letter L, doesn't really matter. And we'll click OK. And then we're going to go right into this composition right in here. And we see we have the letter L. Maybe I'll just do this on a transparent background so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to grab the pen tool. And now this part is extremely important. Make sure the layer is selected. And right at the top here, you'll see like a little star and some sort of transparent icon make sure you click on the transparent icon which uh, is tool creates mask if you don't select this you'll be creating another shape within the shape layer you want to be able to create a mask so what we want to do is maybe zoom in here and we want to just you know add a point here at the top and we'll just come all the way down here to the bottom of our letter and this, this will vary depending on what layer you're doing but basically you just want to create like an outline kind of like this so I just kind of created the shape L and of course you can go back to your like selection tool and you can you know, move these points around and you can always mess with the vertices uh, you kind of want to keep it curvy or you know kind of whatever you want to do so basically just you know create a path around your letter and that works for me so what I'm going to do is go up to effect generate stroke so let's make sure the brush hardness is set to 100% and let's set the brush size to maybe around 10-ish, 11, 12 points there and let's put the paint style on transparent and then let's go and set the end percentage down to 0%. Let's add a keyframe for that. Move forward by a second and a few frames or however long you want the animation to be and set the end percentage all the way to 100% and if we hit U on our keyboard we'll bring up all the keyframes and make sure to select both the keyframes and we'll hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy as keyframes and so far we kind of have just this nice little stroke in here you know nothing special and let's go and just duplicate this layer and maybe change the color of this it doesn't really matter this is not required but this will kind of let us see the layers and you know kind of how they're broken up and then maybe uh, increase the brush size by a little bit maybe like 20 ish or a little bit more than that it doesn't matter and that's so far so good and then let's duplicate it once more and then let's go to the beginning of our timeline here and let's add a keyframe for the brush size and then let's hit you on our keyboard so we, so we can see the keyframes and go to the last frame here or the last keyframe and let's increase the brush size to be like ridiculously big like maybe it has to go to like 40 or 50 points and that'll kind of just you know fill things up like that and of course maybe make these two keyframes easy as keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard and then maybe we, now we can offset this by a little bit so maybe we'll grab the middle layer here just offset it by maybe like you know four frames or something like that and then grab this top layer and maybe we'll offset it by another four frames so total of eight frames offset 
And now, since we changed the colors of it, we can kind of see how each layer reacts. And I didn't change the color of the top stroke here. Um, and then, boom, now we can kind of see how each of the you know layers are working here. And, you know, so far, nothing special. So what we're going to do is go up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And then we're going to go up to Effect, Stylize, and we're going to add the Roughen Edges effect. So maybe we'll crease the border by a little bit, maybe, you know, above 10. And then let's go to the edge sharpness and maybe increase that ridiculously by a lot, maybe like, you know, a little bit over four ish there. And, you know, a little before and after, and we scrub through here, you know, it'll kind of have a nice little animation to it. You can also maybe adjust the scale a little bit. If you know, since like, you know, maybe there's too many ripples in here, you can always adjust the scale uh, to have less uh, ripples or even more ripples. It all, up, it's all up to you. I'm gonna just keep it at 100 cause I really didn't matter to me. And then for the evolution, we kind of want to keyframe this. So I just go to the beginning here, add a keyframe for evolution, go to the end of your animation and, you know, maybe we'll set this to like, you know, two X and that will kind of keep it, you know, elastic and stuff. And then let's go up to effect distort and let's add the turbulent displace effect. And let's maybe bring down the amount by a touch. So it's not so crazy. And then maybe decrease the size by a touch as well. And, you know, that'll kind of just, you know, make it a little bit more distorted and give it more of a liquid feel. And for the most part, we've done this correctly. So let's go back into our, you know, main comp here. And, you know, this looks crazy. Okay. It just looks like a terrible disaster and we're going to have a bad time. But let's toggle switches and modes. And let's make sure we go to our regular shape layer, which is the L shape layer and go to the track map. And let's open that up and click on alpha map. And boom, it takes the shape of our letter. And we scrub through here, you'll see that our uh, first letter here comes on perfectly. So basically, we have to repeat this process for each of the letters. It can be a pain, so make sure you get the uh, type right the first time. So a quick tip, if you just wanna you know, do this quickly, uh, just make sure to duplicate your layer, pre-compose it, you know, call it you know, whatever your next letter is and then click okay and then let's go you know back into here and you know remask everything out okay and then once you have your mask in there go back to your previous letter and just you know copy the stroke effect and make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline and paste it right in there and then you know, just duplicate it go back to your previous letter copy the previous stroke you know paste that in there as well duplicate it go back to your last letter copy the stroke paste it and then just copy the adjustment layer and paste that as well. And then of course, come in here and offset your layers by a few frames, and then you should be ready to go. And of course, go back in there and do it for each of your letters. So I'll see you guys when it's done. So now all of my layers are animated. Just remember to make everything alpha mat to your compositions. And then what we'll do is maybe just offset all these letters so they don't come on at the same time. If you want that, that's fine. But what I'm gonna do is select all the layers except for my first letter, and just offset it by eight frames and then move forward by another eight frames. And it depends on your animation time. You might want to do 10 frames. You might want to do a second. Who knows? But just offset these if you know you want some variation in your text. So select all of your layers except maybe your background and pre-compose it. And we can call this one liquid animation. Okay. And then let's go up to effect generate fill. And we can set the color, the first, uh, I guess, liquid color that we want. I'll just use my uh, logo color and we'll click okay. And then we'll duplicate this layer. We'll change this color to, you know, you know, I'll change it to a light blue and then we'll duplicate it once more. And maybe we'll just keep this one to like our primary dark gray color and click okay. And then once again, we'll just offset these maybe by like four or five frames. So take that middle layer, offset it by five frames, go back maybe five frames and take the top layer and offset that. And then we have, you know, each, you know, sort of animation coming in at a different color at a different time. And, you know, looks really awesome. So sometimes depending on the text color and arrangement, sometimes you can see some of the colors bleeding through the main color here. And I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but if that happens, because it did happen to me, uh, just make sure you select your bottom layers and go up to effect uh, matte and add the simple choker effect and just increase that by like one. So if the colors bleed through, that will be gone and just copy it and paste it to the bottom layer. So you'll, you'll just have your pure text. And basically that's how you do this effect. Make sure to maybe turn on motion blur as well, go into each of the layers 
and just turn it on and go into your letters and make sure those are turned on as well. So after a render, this is what you should have. And I think this is a really awesome effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.